Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Matt, and the pattern I'm going to be walking through tonight is a stimulator. Now it's generally a big stonefly imitation. In the summertime you could use it as a terrestrial, as a grasshopper imitation. It can even be a general attractor pattern. And it's really not that hard for as much stuff as you see going into it. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Let's get started. So there it is in the vise. I will explain the materials as I go and put the recipe in the description. So this thing can be tied probably as big as a size 6 and then recipe said down to a size 16. I can't imagine tying this in a 16. This is a size 10. It's a curved 2x long hook. I'm using Olive 70 denier UTC. So lay a base down. Oh, well past the bend of the hook since it's kind of bending the whole way, but to a little bit past where the barb would be if you had a barb on it. Now the tail. Just natural elk body hair. You're going to need to put in your stacker a, a small to medium sized clump. Put it in your stacker, a few wax on the table, and then take a look at it. If you got to pull any of the strays or fluff out, now's the time to do that. Now one trick, if they're curved too much, just take it in your hand and, and roll it a little bit. That will kind of get rid of that natural curve. So the length of this is about a, a hook gap at most. Probably, definitely not longer than that, either a hook gap or a little shorter. So I'll do a, a loose wrap loose to medium for your first wrap right there and take another one just in front of it and then get a little bit tighter as you go maybe your fourth or fifth wrap you can start putting it pretty tight it's going to flare on you but you don't want the tips of the tail to flare too much so i've got about four wraps there a couple of them were tight so one more tight one right there now we're going to take some loose wraps up to about halfway spread out just just kind of binding this down is that halfway yep that looks halfway now we can pull it tight and it's going to flare like crazy on you right here that's okay one of the cool things about this fly is it gets real messy halfway through but then you get to clean it up and it looks pretty in the end or as pretty as a stimulator ever looks so get in here and trim this off as close as you can we'll bind it down in just a second with the thread so take a few in here let's try to make pretty this up we can get a little ramp right there is fine and take this back to the where you did the tail now small wire copper gold's fine but just size small it's not for looks it's really just to hold our hackle in so catch that about you know right there at the start of the tail where we're going to wrap it in and secure it on up and we get back here at our halfway point we're going to tie in the hackle that we're going to be palmering so i'm using brown right here i've tried to go ahead and splay it out i kind of made a mess of it but it will still work so stem back the fiber part forward so just catch that in right there okay that's going to be fine because that's where we're going to start wrapping it as soon as we get the underbody on so take your thread back to the tail put a little wax on your thread and grab your body, your, your dubbing, what you're going to put on the body. This is an olive one, so I've mixed a little bit of olive rabbit and olive ice dub. It's not going to take much. We're just going from the tail to the front of where that hackle is. So fairly thin. Spread it out. I think a two-inch noodle is probably going to work here. Okay, that's going to be fine right there. A little bit further up might have worked better, but we're going to be 
just fine with this. We've got quite a bit more going on here in just a minute. So I'm going to take my hackle pliers and palmer this back. Probably four turns, maybe five if your body's long enough, depending on the size of your fly. But I think four will be sufficient here. That's four. You know what? Let's try one more. I think I've got just enough room to get one more on there. Now before you let go with your hackle pliers, take your wire rib and you can catch one all the way around it in the back before we start going up just to really secure that tail in. And now counter wrap it up. Try to zigzag it through if you can. You can probably go ahead and let go of my hackle pliers because I got the back end caught in. So I'm going to zigzag this through the rest of the way up. Now when you've got it up the front, just a couple of turns to catch that wire in. I'm going to take a few more up the side of this right here so I'll break it off right there. Pull down with some tension on my thread. Spin this off. Reach in here and cut the excess of that hackle off. And if you need to, just fluff these back out. Take your dubbing brush or bodkin. Now, the next component is more elk hair. Just a little bit more this time. Probably about twice as much as we had for the tail. Definitely want to stack this one. What I'll do sometimes is just trim off these ends right here. Pull it out. They look pretty good. I got one sticking out. We'll take care of that one individually. He's gone. Okay. So now this part, just about the length of the tail. Maybe a tad shorter, but we're going to go right there. So a semi pinch wrap right there, fairly loose. Second one before I bind it down tighter. Third one even tighter there. Now this top is going to flare up, but that's what we want. And we can take care of that in a second. So just several locking wraps right here. We're going to trim that this mess off in just a second. Now if you need to, a couple of medium wraps on the back. If you want to try to get that wing to lay down just a little bit. I typically don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So it's splayed up like that. I think that lay looks good. So let's try to separate the butt ends from the front ends. Get in here and just trim these as close as you can get it. Now, just bury these in. Go through there. You're going to see some stubs sticking out, but trim them if you want or just try and bury them. So only two more components left. Try to get a little ramp right here. Taper's not that important. We've got some more dubbing we're about to put on. But before we do that, the front hackle, Grizzly. Tie this in. Get it. You want the, the length to be about the same as you had on the bottom. So that's close enough right there. I'm going to catch this in. And take it a little farther back from where I'm going to start the wraps. So pull that just, a, there we go. Okay. That looks fine right there. And my stem is a little longer. I'm going to have to trim it. If it was short, we'd just bury it. Okay. Now, that same dubbing we had a minute ago, put some more wax on your thread. And it's not going to take much here. Obviously, we just got a little bit of a head. You could probably even get away, get away without doing this. But... I think it looks just a little bit better because of that hackle we put, it, it will show through 
with that grizzly we're about to wind around it so our grizzly now, i don't have a whole lot to work with so i'm going to grab my hackle pliers again and you don't have to put these as tight wraps just a little bit it's almost palmering the head so one wrap two wraps watch the camera now I'm going to just pull this back real quick and try and clean up this head. Take my whip finish tool, four or five turns. Snip the thread. Still got that grizzly hackle hanging up right there. Snip that off close. And if we got any cleanup, now's the time to do that. So there you have it, an olive stimulator. Pretty fun pattern to tie, pretty fun to fish. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time.